I'm Sean with ID Engineering, and today we're going to be introducing you to uh, iGaging's new uh, digital protractor. So many of you know that we had the standard uh, protractors, but now they have a, a digital version. And this reads uh, the angle with an accuracy up to 0.2 degrees. And it's available in a two-piece set like this, or you can get it in a, a four-piece set you know, with your centering uh, gauge included. Okay, let's go over all the features of this new eye gauging tool. All right, so let's take a closer look at the uh, digital protractor here. So this is uh, how, when you would put the blade in, uh, when you want to tighten it down, this is how you tighten it, okay? So, and to release the blade, or to, sorry, to put the new blade in, you press this button down, that takes the, uh, the pin and pushes it down so that the blade can slide in. Okay. All right, so now let's, uh, let's go ahead and set this up to uh, calibrate it. So we're going to use this, this surface here, I set it down, and then set this to flat, okay, lock it down, and then you click there to zero it out, all right, okay, and as you may see, this, this is upside down, right, so you want to right side it, make it right side up, um, you can hold this button down for a second, and it actually flipped the display over so you can read it the other direction, so you don't have to read numbers upside down. And then you can loosen this, and then you can adjust it to see your angle. Okay. It also has the function that if you want to switch it 180 degrees, you can do that with this. So there it shows 180 instead of zero. Okay. But we want to leave it at zero for now. Okay. And if you want to change the batteries on this, it's actually quite easy. If you look under here, you push this uh, little little button here, it pops the battery right out the top. So no longer do you need a screwdriver to, to pry that out, okay? Now when you do place the battery back in, you should uh, do a zero reset, okay? All right, and let's check the uh, accuracy of the angle here. So we have a gauge block. So if we take this and put it against the gauge block. I can't hold my hand still, okay. All right, so we see we've got 90.1 degrees there. So that's within the 0.2 degree accuracy. And that's me, my hands moving it around a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, check it out in action here. All right, so we've got a piece of wood here. And let's say we want to measure uh, off an angle. So we can place it on, you know, against the edge. And let's say we want a, you know, a 30 degree angle. So we can go to 30 here. Okay. And then we uh, grab our pencil. And we can uh, mark a 30 degree angle like that, uh, above or below. Okay. Or say we want to do a, a 90 degree angle. Okay, so we've got a 90 degree angle there. And, uh, like so. Okay. Now, if you want to go farther than that, if it's upside down for, for you, you can actually you know, press this and uh, flip the image over. So if you're looking from that side. Um, but I am looking from this side, so I'll flip it back. And let's say uh, you want a 122.5. Uh, 122.5. Oh, let me tap that a little bit. Too much. <laughs> okay, so I got 122.5 there. Okay, and that's how easy it is. Really simple. And if you want to extend the blade, you can also uh, you know, loosen the blade and uh, extend it so it's longer. But when you do that, you should probably recalibrate uh, it uh, because there is a little play when, when you tighten the blade down, as there always is in these. So you can take that and uh, re recalibrate. Pretty, still, uh, pretty close. So just set that to zero again. All right. So go back to the table and do it again. All right, so let's go back to uh, 130 degrees. Okay, so there's 130. Measure the angle off. Okay, and there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the new eye gauging uh, digital protractors. And if you'd like to pick up your own pair, 
you can go to www.ideaengineering.us. Thank you, and have a great day.